a quick short video how to remove the spark plugs on the Mazda B2000, B2200, B2600 all we know is four cylinder so we're gonna start grabbing the spark plug cable you're gonna twist it so it can get a little loose and then we're gonna pull it up don't grab it from from here try to grab it from a little bit lower as lower as you can and then twisting it so because it always has some type of corrosion just, just twist it and push it out pull it up there you go and then always on any car is four cylinders you're gonna remove the spark plug cable just remove the cable and kind of set it where you remember where it goes because it's so easier to get mixed up and then you're gonna have misfire you're gonna have out of timing you're gonna have um it's gonna be shaking and sometimes it's not even gonna start or even it will start with i was gonna be shaking rattling it's gonna be uh having explosions so always remember where it goes if you don't want to do this set it set them apart so where you can remember where it goes is mark it you can always mark the cables So have the first one, have the second one, one more, and the last one. There you go. So you see, has a cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder number three, a cylinder number four. So that way it won't get mixed. This is the first, second, third, fourth. So now spark plugs to remove spark plugs this spark plug is not the regular 5 8 this one is a uh, 13 16 so let's go here I have a tools right here oh, I have a little camera because I'm gonna inspect in inspect inside the cylinder so I'll show you that in a minute I really need a little tripod or something damn it okay so a little camera right here I think this one is for hardware tools I think they're going for like 70 bucks 70. Of course, a little baby right here. Up on 3 8. 13 16. Maste chingambre. I pause it. It's 13 16. Su re puta madre está caliente. No mames, Juanito. ¡Oh! ¡Quítale! ¡La leche! ¡Órale! ¡Le cierro con llave! ¡Ah! ¿Le di las llaves? No, que las traigo. Ya, cierre, por favor. Para trabajar aquí el requisito es manejar Mazda. ¿Cómo estará qué? Este güey ahí, ahí mismo nomás le la cabeza y, y, el, y el cárter, digámonos. ¿Qué, ¿Qué, y... ¿Qué nos qué? Dale, que ya nos vieron. Puto, ¿de quién es el carro? Dale, ahora quién sea. Yo dígame. estoy preguntando quién es el carro, culero. Le dije, ¿de quién es el pinche carro? ¿De quién es la troca? <risa> ok, now. We remove the spark plugs. We inspect. We inspect inside the cylinders with the little camera. Oh, no, no. You have new spark plugs you're gonna you know you're gonna put it back on and then the gap any gap every car usually they're like 40 45 it is a little round thing so you can measure the gap so in any car any any car any year any kind it's gonna have stickers on the hood and then on the hood it gives you specifications some of us they give you the vacuum lines some of it gives you all the year of the car uh, ignition timing idle speed 
ignition timing valve latch intake and exhaust that's the clearance on the valves when you're gonna adjust it valve side it gives you the you know um the adjustment like this valve uh the intake goes like 12 and then it goes eight could be like inches uh not inches uh millimeters or it has different sizes i'm not gonna get to that right now uh, i'm trying to look for the blah, 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 um, uh, where is it? Where is it? Of course, it gives you a Mazda B2000. It should give you the year. The thing is sideways. Oh, here's the other one. It gives you specs on the oil for engine, oil for transmission, the differential, the steering gear. So it gives you all the apps. Uh, I don't see anything for the spark plugs. Let me look for it. Oil automatic. I'm missing one sticker. The one that tells you about the spark plug gap. Anyways, I guess I lied. Because this one doesn't show the spark plug gap. Well, it tells you the year. It's 1987. Well, anyway, this, is, this one. Any older cars go to 45, is fine. Ah? Están nuevas. There, install the spark plug back, same way. Put them in here. Go back in there. Always tighten it like first thread by hand. Twist it. So once it's there, you're gonna grab whatever you're gonna tighten it with. For me, since I kinda know. How tight this one gets, just go to the top, all the way to the end, and then one twist. There, that should be good for me. I don't know how many pounds is it, so should be what, like 10 or 15, maybe less. I just go by here a band. That. It's full of my dog. So the other one again always the first turns go only by hand make sure a thing goes in ah damn it stop there and then one turn one turn there should be enough get the socket again another spark plug what's over there oh it's the homeboy flywheel He's gonna ask me about his Honda Accord watch. What What's up, gangster? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? what you fixing, man? I bought this little truck. See the red car I have over there on the side of the shop? Nah, I didn't even see it. Yeah. It has a Mazda RX-7 with the rotary engine, so I'm gonna be doing an engine swap on this one. Engine swap? Yeah. So you're gonna take this engine? Yeah, I'm gonna take this engine and transmission and I'm gonna swap the other one. But for now, it's because um, it's burning oil. So I'm trying to see which cylinder it was. But um, so far, no luck. Yeah, for real. What are you gonna do with the record? Are you gonna sell that one too or what? Yeah, I'm getting rid of parts, people that need them, and then um, I'm just gonna get rid of them. I'll, I'll just need some parts like suspension, the rear end, yeah. um, the engine and transmission. Uh, so right. from that one, I'm gonna need the rear end for this one, and I'm gonna need the transmission on the engine. Harness, computer, and all the other shit. Ready to go to work or what? Yeah, I'm ready to start, dude. I just got hired for two jobs. Oh, you did? Yeah. Where at? I fucking work at Target and fucking Aero Postal. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's all right. So it's you're gonna good. be dressing like a pretty boy now? Yeah, hell the fuck no. I hate that shit. Uh, I don't even wear Aero Postal, do you? Uh, it used to be my brand, but right now it's fucking mainly H&M or Forever 21, man. For real? Yeah. <laughs> Forever 21, why that one? What up? What up? Um, I mean, they have good clothing and then the jeans are good. I mean, you know, I wear skinny jeans though, that's why. No, okay, yeah. yeah. 
You should go to Express, no. man. Express man's where is it at, but it's expensive. That shit's fucking expensive. Yeah, tell me about it. Like for one pair of jeans, you could have got like two. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, but it's yeah. good quality. Yeah. Alright, Alright then. So we're installing the spark plug wires now. Just gonna put it back in right there. Boom. Sorry about all the talking on the background. So most likely it's gonna be on the video. Again, if you wanna talk if anyone wants to talk shit, just go for it. I don't mind. So that's about it. This is the last power plug wire. Put them in there. Commando buenos días. And then we're ready to rock and roll. Será? There you go. So we're done here. That's how you replace your spark plugs. Any car, as long as it's like, yeah, any car, but simple ones like four cylinders. That's how it should be done. Mazda B2000, Mazda B2200, B2600. That's how you replace this. That's how you replace the spark plugs. Let's grab a little ratchet. Extension, yeah. On the 13, 16. This is not a 5.8 like the other ones. It's a 13.16. Alright, stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe.